making noise. Are you wearing a firefighter hat? I like your hat. What are you doing, Gray? I'm making an M. You're making the letter M? Nice, I like it. Good morning, you guys. Happy President's Day. Today is a Monday, but it feels like a Sunday because Anthony has the day off of work and so do a lot of other people in the country. And so it's just messing my days up because I keep thinking it's a Sunday. I kept thinking yesterday was Saturday. <laughs> but he's gonna follow me with that thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Porter is half dressed. He won't let me put his pants on. Gray won't let me get him dressed at all. So I guess half dressed is better than not dressed at all. You want up? No. No? Okay, bye. I am vlogging because today my sister is going to come over because she has the day off because she's a teacher. So they get holidays, federal holidays off. And we are going to take both the boys to Kosai. We've done Kosai once in the past and it was when we only had Grayson and he, this was before the pandemic, he had to have been like maybe a year and a half, like probably about Porter's age was when we last took him. And so Austin's like, oh, I have the day off of work. Why don't we go and try it? So we're going to take both boys this time. Not sure how it's going to go. Hopefully it's not too busy. All the schools are not in session today because it's a holiday, so it might be busy. So I'm not sure. What do you got? You going to cook something? No. No, you're not? Not feeling it? So anyway, we're gonna try and take the boys, so I'll get some clips. Um, I've only been to this Kosai once. Um, there's a Kosai up in Toledo where I grew up. It was actually called, well it was called Kosai and then I think they changed it to Imagination Station. Same thing. I loved it when I was a kid. So I really think Grayson is gonna love it. Not so sure about Porter, I think he'll like it. I just hope he stays in a good mood and we'll see about nap time and how long we stay there for, but I'm gonna plan on vlogging here and there when we get there. Also, today is supposed to be like the warmest day in a long, long time. It's gonna be a high of 61 today. It's only 40. Porter's getting out the tortilla shells. Um, it's only 41 right now, but it's supposed to be, get up to 61. It has not been that warm in a very, very long time. So, after Kosai, if the boys are not like drained, or I might meet up with my mom and sisters and we might go to a park, which we have not like, well, I mean, we went to our neighborhood park like a couple days ago, but like, we haven't been to like a park park since like early fall. So it's been a long time. And Porter's like walking now, like back last summer, he was just crawling everywhere and I mostly held him. So this year, like he can actually like, tackle the playgrounds and stuff so I think it's gonna be a fun summer with both the boys like very mobile so we'll see um, but if we go do that I will definitely vlog that as well it really just kind of depends on how the boys are feeling um, I'm not sure like if Porter's gonna get a nap in today so he might be grumpy Gray does fine with no naps Porter has been trying to um, to like protest his naps here and there. So I'm hoping that if we don't get a nap in today that it won't be too detrimental, but I'm really just not sure how it's gonna go. But we will see and I will definitely vlog the day's events. I'm really excited.
<laughs> in the old town here in Kosai. It's 1862. Going in the telegram office. Okay guys, so it's the end of the vlog. I just wanted to recap it for you. So we did end up going to Kosai and it went really, really well. I was really nervous about how I was gonna go taking two kids, a three-year-old and a one-year-old. I would have never done this by myself. I'm so glad my sister went with me. We went and we were worried it was gonna be busy because it was President's Day, so all the kids had no school. But actually we lucked out and it really wasn't busy. We went right when it opened, so I think that helped. And then also the day was unseasonably warm. It was like 61 degrees in the middle of February. And so I think everybody just took that opportunity to to go outside and go to the parks instead of stay inside and go to Kosai. So it really wasn't that busy at all. It did get a little busier as the day went on, but it really wasn't that bad. So we went and explored a couple different sections. They have like an ocean world zone where kids can like get in the submarine. That's where you saw Grayson in there and they could play with water and shoot water and make uh, balls balance on the water and play with sand and all that sort of things and then also learning about um, 
ocean animals and pollution and how it affects the ocean and different things like that. That world is always really fun. We went to like the old town, so it's really cool. They have like a mocked up old town from like the 1800s, I think was what it was. And uh, it was just like a bunch of different buildings and show you like how life was like and they had like old toys and that's what Grayson was playing with and they had like the telegram and that was really fun. And then you go a little further and then it's the same town just like a hundred years later and so it was like the 1980s and so that was really fun. Gray loved riding in that little, little rocket ship machine so he loved it. Porter just was content to just sit in the stroller for most of the time. Anytime I would take him out I think he just got a little too overwhelmed being a little pandemic baby that he is and so he preferred to just stay in the stroller and just watch everything happen. Grayson is the complete opposite. He was getting into everything, looking at things, wanting to touch, wanting to explore. So they're like totally different personalities. They liked the town and then after that we went and they have a little kids place area which is adorable it's like only for little kids and they just have this huge open space they've got cars you can drive they've got a slide they've got like a little farm area they've got a art area I mean it was just so much to do there that's when Porter got out of the stroller and he enjoyed it. He really just enjoyed driving this little fire truck. It's like, a, well, it was a huge fire truck and you could like drive in, had buttons and stuff and Porter just loved it. He would go and drive it and I would try to take him to something else because Grayson was getting into everything. And he just kept going back to that fire truck. He just loved it so much. He would wait his turn patiently for the other kids to drive it and then he would drive it and he just loved it. So they both really liked that space. I think we spent the most time there. We went and saw some other exhibits too, but it was getting close to the end of the day. They had like a Sesame Street exhibit, which was cute, and then they had a dinosaur one. I think that's the one we ended on. Um, the dinosaur one was a little old for for the boys, but it was still cool. They had like lifelike dinosaur skeletons you could go up and see. So all in all, it was awesome. It was a really great time. We, we went for about 10 to 1. So I think we spent a good amount of time there. The boys were both tired. Gray asked me every day if we can go back to Kosai. He had so much fun. Um, Porter surprised me out of all. I was worried he was going to get cranky by the time nap time came, but he actually did really well. We got back home and I put the kids down. They both took naps, which was awesome because that never happens. And then after nap time, we went out to the park and that's where you saw at the end of this vlog. We went to the park. The boys favorite park um, it's this park in the city next to us and um, they both loved it went down the slide a couple times they have like a bell you can play with and just it's this huge playground and then we also went on a walk with my mom and her dog and Allison and her dog so it was really fun um, it was a busy day I my feet are killing me like I have not been on my feet for that much so it was like super busy but a f really fun day and yeah that's the end of this vlog so I hope you enjoyed this vlog um, let me know down below have you been to a Kosai is there one in your area um, we like ours it is a little expensive though you can get a membership to it but we just have a membership to the zoo I think maybe if Kosai was closer to us maybe I would get a a membership but Kosai is in like downtown downtown Columbus and I never go down there so it's just fun to go every once in a while and yeah I'm glad we did it so again thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video bye